Okay, so for our second problem, we have here Josefina, out of curiosity, would like to determine the measurement of the angles made by pages of her favorite poetry book, Pale Fire. So based on the illustration below, the measurement of angle ABE, ABE is equal to 120 degrees. So let's try that here. Okay, so that's 120 degrees. Let's try to change the color of the pen that we're using. Okay, and then the measurement of angle CBD is equal to 135 degrees. So the question is, what is the measurement of angle DBE? So what's the measurement of this angle? This is the one that we want to find. Okay, so using our method, okay, the method that we've used so far. So we have the PUSA method. So we've already identified the problem. Okay, so this is our problem. And to understand the problem or understanding what it wants or what it's asking us to do. So for this problem, we want to get this angle. So how are we going to get the measurement of angle DBE given these two angles, okay, the measurement of angle ABE, which is equal to 120 degrees, and the measurement of angle CBD, which is equal to 135 degrees. Okay, so we've already understood the problem. And then for our solution, Okay, so for our solution, we're going to use the angle addition postulate. So using the angle addition postulate, we can say that the measurement of angle ABE, okay, so we can de decompose the measurement of angle ABE. So that's going to give us the measurement of angle, okay, the measurement of angle ABD, okay, plus the measurement of angle, measurement of angle DBE. And we know that the measurement of angle AB is equal to 120 degrees. Is if that's equal to 120 degrees, so that's gonna be equal to the measurement of angle ABD, okay, plus the measurement of angle DBE. And since we don't know the measurement of angle DBE, it says here that it's x. So we can write here that the measurement of angle DBE is gonna be equal to x. Okay, so therefore that's gonna give us 120 plus the measurement of angle ABE, ABD, plus X, okay, is equal to 120 degrees. Okay, so there you go. So that's our main formula for this one. Okay, and then we can also derive some more formulas. So how are we going to solve for the measurement of angle ABD? So since for this problem, we want to get the measurement of angle DBE, okay, so we're going to solve for this angle. Measurement of angle DBE. Okay, or that's equal to x. Okay, so to solve for that, what we have to do is we've created this formula. 120 is equal to the measurement of angle ABD plus x. What we can do is we can transfer x to the other side so that we can get the measurement of angle ABD. So the measurement of angle ABD is equal to 120 minus x. Okay, so now that we uh, know that formula, so the measurement of this angle Okay, so this is 120 degrees. Okay, so this is the 120 degrees. Okay, so this is 120. And this is just 120 minus x. So what we can do is we can create a formula to add the measurement of angle ABE, ABD. Okay, so we can add the measurement of that angle plus the measurement of angle CBD. Okay, angle and the measurement of angle CBD. So that's going to give us 180 degrees. So since this is a straight line, okay, so that should give us a total of 180 degrees, 180 degrees through, through the linear pair postulate. Okay, so the measurement of angle ABD is going to be 120 minus X plus the measurement of angle CBD, which is equal to 135. So that's going to be all equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so we can add 120 and 135. So that's going to give us negative x plus 255 is equal to 180. And negative x is going to be equal to 180 minus, 180 minus 255. And with 180 minus 255, okay, so that's going to give us negative 75. So negative x is equal to negative 75. And therefore, if we divide both sides by negative 1, x is just equal to 75. And we all know that x is equal to the measurement of angle dBE. So therefore, the measurement of angle dBE okay, of this angle on the book is equal to 75 degrees. And we've solved our problem for this one.